Hi, welcome back to Simply Fatima. On today's video, we are talking about all things Louis Vuitton, speedies on this video because I feel like a speedy handbag is a very classic, a timeless piece, and it's also a great handbag if you are trying to like get into luxury or start um, your own luxury collection whether it's Louis Vuitton or just have a luxury collection altogether. so today I'm going to talk about all my speedies I have um, speedies ranging from the nano speedy all the way up to the speedy 40 and I'm going to get into detail about each bag some of the bags I've already gotten to carry because I've had them for a very long time and other bags I haven't gotten to use just yet but um where are my manners? If you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back. And if you are new, welcome to Simply Fatima where we talk about all things luxury and luxury handbags. And if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? So please hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit that bell notification. Also give this video a thumbs up if you really like today's content. Also, follow me on Instagram at underscore Simply Fatima underscore loves luxury where you see where I style my handbags and just you know, let's be friends on Instagram, just like how we are friends on YouTube and just show your girl some love. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So my speedy bag collection, I'm going to go in a particular order. I am going to go from the smallest to the largest. And before we get into the bag, I just want to kind of give you like a history background about how the speedies came along. So Louis Vuitton launched technically launched the speedy in the 1930s in the 1930s and it was a part it was called the express bag but it was a part of like their traveling collection and it was a pretty big hit and then in 1959 they came out with the speedy 25 because audrey hepburn just wanted like a smaller version to like carry around like her essential items um, instead of carrying something bigger so that's how the speedy 25 came about and from that point on there's been different various sizes um that the speedy comes in so the speedy comes in nano 25 30 35 and 40 and um they do come in either bandolier which means that there is a strap or the classic which means that there are no straps so i know the straps come in the 25 the 30 and the 40 and the nano speedy is also considered like a bandolier because it also have a strap um and so everything that's not a bandolier or anything that can be considered a bandolier can also be considered a classic um minus the nano speedy because well there was a version of the nano speedy that was smaller than the nano speedy and that came without a strap um but if it did yeah it came without a strap um but so far the nano speedy cannot come in classic unless you get the vintage smaller version of the nano speedy um from like pre-loved websites or whatnot then you can get that version but other than that the nano speedy is considered bandolier but any other size like the 25 30 40 35 and 40 can all be bought in classic and in bandolier version also the speedy does come in different prints minus the nano speedy you have epi, Le epi leather speedies you have Damier Aben Speedies, Damier Azure, and Monogram Canvas. Um, also, I, for I forgot to mention the newest one is the Speedy BB, which comes in a leather finishing and it ha and it's black. Um, and if I'm mistaken, let me know in the comments if the strap is removable or not. I'm not 100% sure. I forgot to look that up because I forgot about the Speedy BB. Um, but the Speedy BB is a little bit larger than the Speedy Nano and it is smaller than the Speedy 25. So, and that one comes in leather print and black and it also has monogram imprinted on it. Um, I forgot about that little baby. I'm sorry. Wow. Um, but yeah, so the sizes range in Nano Speedy, Speedy BB, Speedy 25, Speedy 30, Speedy 35, and Speedy 40. And I only own the Speedy Nano, Speedy 25, Speedy 30, and Speedy 40. 
Um, but I figured I would do my Speedy handbag collection just because Speedies are easier to get your hands on pre-loved or brand new. They weren't really affected by the new Louis Vuitton price increase. So that's a good thing. But they have gone up in price, I have noticed, especially since um, me getting my first Speedy. My first Speedy is not my Speedy 30, which is a classic Speedy 30 in monogram print, was not the price that my parents paid when I originally got my bag. I was gifted that bag and so I wanted to look up the price and the price that they paid is not what the price it is today. So the Speedy does hold some value. It's a classic timeless piece and it goes with any outfit. They're perfect for their perfect travel bags, they're perfect everyday bags, they're perfect work bags they fit a lot in them one thing about the speedy is the shape everybody knows the speedy by its shape and also the speedy is a very slouchy bag so if you're one of those individuals that don't really care for a slouchy bag you can buy bag organizers to house all of your um, essential items inside which is good because things can get lost in the speedy um, but having a bag organizer gives the bag some structure. If you're not too fond of bag organizers, that's fine. But just know that the bag kind of slouches, which is kind of cool because to me, it gives it that traveler's look. But without further ado and without me rambling, I'm going to go ahead and start um, showing you my speedy collection and talk about each piece and yeah and if there's any particular speedy that you want me to do a detailed review on or a comparison video on please let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure I do that side note I am still working on other videos that you have um, that you guys have left in the comments for me so don't think that I've forgotten about you guys I'm still working on those videos and I'm gonna get those videos out to you as well but yes let's get Get right into the video so the first speedy i'm gonna talk about is my speedy nano it's still in the box because i haven't had a chance to like wear her out because you know we haven't been able to go anywhere or do anything because of the global um situation we're in we'll get back to normal soon because you know if you keep up with the news you know but here is the nano speedy it is in a monogram the nano speedy is the only bag or the nano speedy only comes in monogram print i haven't seen it in any other print like damier Eben, damier azure epi any of that so this is the nano speedy you see she's pretty tiny she sits in the palm of my hand she does have two top handles and a strap so in a strap right here this would having a strap will consider it as bandolier the strap is not removable and it is not adjustable so where it falls on you is where it falls on you this bag is a little but she packs a punch i have an unboxing video of this bag and i'll show you what fits inside and tons of things fit inside of this bag this bag is just one main compartment and in the back it just has a tab of where the bag is from if it shows clearly but yeah it's just one main large compartment and this bag totally packs a punch i am really excited to wear this bag this summer because as you guys know i am into mini bags and i'm also into crossbody bags and this checked off the list um and the zipper is really nice and smooth and it all has gold um, detailing. Um, I'm so happy to have this bag in my collection. I know it's a very sought after handbag um, and I just love her to death. This is going to be a great travel bag because it's something that you can just throw in your suitcase and then have a cute little bag um, to have during the day or during the night because it's such a cute tiny little bag. and you have like a hands-free experience so yes this is the nano speedy um and i love her so 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 much so please check out my unboxing video because there you will see everything that fits inside of here um and this little bag holds a lot like a lot i love her so much so the next speedy bag that i have is the speedy 25 um and just for like comparison reasons here is my nano speedy 
compared to the Speedy 25. Can you see that? So the Nano Speedy, Speedy 25. I got the Speedy 25 Bandolier. I've always wanted a Speedy 25. I think the Speedy 25s are super, super cute. And I've always wanted a Speedy and Damier Aben print. Um, and I don't, at the time when I got this back, I didn't have any Speedies with the strap. So I thought it would be nice to have a Speedy that came with the strap. Because sometimes carrying a Speedy, like Speedies can get pretty heavy. And constantly carrying it around like this gets tiring. And then having it in the crook of your arm gets tiring and heavy too so having a speedy that you can just put over your shoulder or wear as a crossbody was ideal to me and one thing that i truly love about damier abin print is the beautiful red interior like this never honestly ever gets old to me so the speedy 25 has one main compartment and it has a back pocket in the back where i keep my keys to my lock um it comes with an adjustable strap and it's adjustable and detachable and it just attaches to these hooks right here on both sides of the bag um and so it is adjustable and detachable you can wear this crossbody or as a shoulder bag um this is the damier aben speedy 25 in the new model um the older models the top handles everywhere you see dark chocolate leather the handles and the um the leather strap right here and the leather right here would be shiny my version is the matte um the matte leather leather and i prefer that over the shiny that's just my preference i just prefer it over the shiny leather it, so it comes with two zips you can either have them meet in the middle or you can just have them all on one side but yes it comes with two zips and this is my damier ebane ebane cross uh speedy 25 so this was the bag that was designed for audrey hepburn so this size the speedy 25 comes in classic and um bandolier the classic speedies come with one zipper versus two and i'm gonna show you that with my classic speedy 30 and it's just really adorable and really cute i would say if anybody who is trying to get their foot into luxury either get a speedy 25 or the speedy 30 and i'm gonna show you why the speedy 25 does hold a lot and then some the speedy 30 holds way more and then some um but yes this is the damier abin print next to my nano speedy and classic monogram and just like here's the hook to attach the strap and this is what it looks like on the nano speedy you see you cannot remove it so yes here's side by side comparison um if i had the speedy bb i would show you guys that but i don't have the speedy bb and i can't compare that size to you but that is the in-between size between the nano speedy and the speedy 25 so the speedy bb is will be right in the middle of these okay so my speedy 30 is my oldest speedy i had in my collection because back in my previous video about my 2020 louis vuitton handbag collection i mentioned how i got my speedy 30 as a sweet 16 birthday gift um my parents gifted this to me and this is my oldest louis vuitton and my oldest speedy so you will see that um compared to the nano speedy my straps on my speedy 30 are a little bit darker and that means that the straps and the leather trimming has patinaed over time um, people ask me all the time how did i get my patina on my speedy 30 it naturally happened of course a 16 year old is not gonna know how to take care of her nano speedy i mean not my nano speedy but my speedy 30 and i just know that every time i was done using my handbag i would just put it in my dust bag and let it do its thing but being so young at the time i didn't know not to put hand cream like put hand cream on my hands and then touch my um top handles not knowing that it will progress 
in my handbag getting that patina look um, or using hand sanitizer and then touching it and all that kind of stuff so I wasn't aware of that I don't know like if me putting my handbag back in the dust bag every time I use it helped with that um, or I was just very careful about where I laid my bag and having it out in the sun and all that kind of stuff but the patina just happened and it's a very nice patina I never wiped it down I never sprayed my handbags or spray my handbag honestly I don't spray any of my handbags I'm I'm a little nervous to do that but maybe one day I'll work the courage up to do it um, but if push comes to shove, I can always get the leather repaired on my Louis Vuitton. But yes, yeah, so this is my first Speedy. My first Speedy is the Nano. Why well, do I don't want to keep saying Nano? The Speedy 30. You can just tell that it is one of my older bags. It's starting to look very vintagey. I can honestly say the canvas, the canvas on this bag is really really great like you can definitely tell the difference in canvas versus like the things that I have now like the canvas is not the same at all so this is my speedy 30 you can tell she has been used she is patina she is older like the the tab right here is all wrinkled up the um the leather tab on the zipper is all patinaed and she is a vintage bag. She is a retired soldier, but she is still my favorite standing soldier. So this is the Speedy 30. In comparison to the Speedy 30, here is the Speedy 25. You see? You see, this is the classic Speedy because it doesn't have this leather trimming right here. And it also doesn't have any kind of d-ring so this bag can only be worn top handle or in the crook of your arm whereas this bag um can be worn crossbody shoulder bag top handle or in the crook of your arm doesn't really matter oh my speedy 30 classic in comparison in comparison to my nano speedy look this little nano speedy can go fit inside of my classic 30 like yes so oh and also in comparison to the speedy 25 how i mentioned there are two zippers two zippers on the bag here are the two zippers i don't know if you can see but the classic speedy only comes with one zipper right there oh is it in frame okay yeah just like that and you can also see like with the nano speedy the fashetta look at the patina on this versus this this is a brand new haven't seen the light of day like this nano speedy has a long ways to go before it hits this like and i've had this for some years here is the inside again I was young so there might be a little spills in here so just ignore that so this is the inside of my speedy 30 it's one large compartment with a back pocket where I keep the keys to my lock on my speedy this bag is more than enough bag like literally like I've packed clothes in this <laughs> For like a change of clothes like gym clothes or something after work I can fit gym clothes in here and then my essentials on top of that like this bag is way more than enough I have carried this bag before worn heels and needed a pair of sandals or flats the flats fit inside of here like this bag is more than enough and you will see that after seeing my speedy 40 you'll understand why I'm saying this bag is more than enough and this bag I love this and I'm very happy this is like my starter into like luxury bags because it is timeless it is classic like the speedy is not going anywhere at all like if there was any cons I had to say about this bag it would just be like I wish I had a strap sometime because it gets a little heavy but other than that I can't say anything bad about this bag this bag has not done me wrong I love it love it love it and because since this is my first um speedy or my first luxury handbag like this is going to be passed down 
from generations to generations like i really really love it so yes this is the speedy 30 so i showed you how the speedy 30 in comparison to the speedy 25 looks here's it in the front like that and then side by side and then in comparison to the nano speedy and then side by side and you can see vachetta differences the nano speedy fresh vachetta speedy 30 patinaed vachetta so yes and going to my last speedy which is my speedy 40 the speedy 40 is huge let's just get that straight the, well the speedy 35 is just as big just a little bit smaller than the speedy 40 but the speedy 40 is big and let me explain to you why i got the speedy 40. the speedy 40 i can barely get it in frame but here's the speedy 40. the speedy 40 is considered a handbag and it's considered a handbag and i've always wanted to keep all but your girl's not trying to pay keep all prices and so i was just like the speedy 40 is almost the same size as the keep all 45. and i was just like instead of paying the price of the keep all 45 i don't mind getting a speedy 40 in classic and just using it as a weekend bag and honey that's exactly what i did so but this is a speedy 30 right here and then speedy 45 looks like a whole duffel bag maybe if i pull it back like this speedy 40 and like you can see the fashetta on here my speedy 30 fashetta speedy 40 put fashetta patina no patina um and i got this bag because i was like this bag is literally a great weekend bag you can put all your you can put the toiletry pouches in here 15 19 and 26 you can fit clothing shoes um your electronics like everything can fit in here the only the speedy 40 is such a great bag i would not suggest this be your first bag because i mean some people carry this as a handbag but for me who's 5'3 weigh 120 pounds like i don't need to walk around with something so huge um i've seen some people use these as purses and work bags but for me it's a weekender bag and i'm excited to use it on like weekend trips or whatever um so yes this is the speedy 40 so i'm gonna go back through my collection so speedy 40 my speedy 30 my speedy 25 and my nano speedy if anybody is trying to get their foot into luxury or want to try louis vuitton for the first time don't know what to start out with i would say speedy 25 speedy 25 comes in classic and bandolier bandolier meaning strap classic meaning no strap it comes in damier abin it comes in monogram canvas damier azure um and speedy 25 is a great bag i'm i'm pretty sure this still comes in epi leather don't quote me but if it does someone please comment i know i've seen the epi leather on like pre-loved markets but i'm not sure if it's still on the louis vuitton website i haven't really checked but the speedy 25 is a great starter piece and if you need something and if you need something a little bit bigger than the speedy 25 the speedy 30 is a great starter piece um and this also comes in bandolier or classic and remember classic speedies only come with one zipper and um speedy bandoliers come with two zippers and yeah i just i love my speedies like love them um and then once you've like gotten your foot maybe you can explore with the speedy um the nano speedy i know with the classic and bandolier in size 25 and 30 actually all the sizes are easy to get your hands on i know the nano the speedy 25 in monogram print is sometimes unavailable um but it's definitely easier to get your hands on than the nano speedy the nano speedy right now is a really really hot item and so yeah so i just suggest 
if you're starting your collection and you want to get your foot in um, start out with the speedy 25 or speedy 30 or the nano speedy because they're all great options and then once you get a handle of the speedy um, speedies then you can try the speedy 40 but i don't recommend this as your first luxury piece or your first louis vuitton piece because it's just it's just a lot but if you want the speedy 40 to be your first piece then go right ahead that's just my opinion um if you want to see like more of my louis vuitton handbags or handbags that you think that i'll be that i or that you think i think are great starter pieces let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll create that video for you too um and so yeah if you like content like this please make sure to hit the subscribe button also hit the like button and also hit the bell notification so that you'll never miss an upload also follow me on instagram at underscore simply fox underscore loves luxury and until and until next time my loves i'll talk to you later bye